Hello guys and welcome to Usitility. Well we are on the way to see how to play Rise of Kingdoms on your PC, from now you can display it on screen. It takes almost no time to effortlessly download and set up Rise of Kingdoms and enjoy the game on the Windows computer with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. So it's time to have fun, let's go my friends. First of all buddies, to get started we need to open our favorite browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because there's a clickable link in the video description and the first main comment. We landed on this page on our own internet site of Usitility, exactly where we have a nice detailed explanation on the best way to obtain Rise of Kingdoms on computer. We scroll lower a bit and just click on the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we arrive here on the website of LD Player. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will use to get access to that game Rise of Kingdoms on our PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of advantages of running this emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Rise of Kingdoms by clicking on this button Download Rise of Kingdoms on PC that I have marked in green. The step is clicking on that button. And the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the system. We have said yes, I minimize the web browser to find the installer better. The installer is straightforward, it includes two options, install, and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does indeed. We just click it, and we discover that we display here the path where the emulator will be put in. If we wish to modify this folder we have to click on the Browse option, and therefore we choose another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we want. To keep it simple, just leave it where it is. I simply click on Back, and I just click on Install. Now, prior to starting the installation of that emulator, it is possible that it will offer us more than one computer software deals to add on our desktop or laptop. As I do not wish to have any of these computer software, I just press several times on the reject option. Now, there it is. The install commences and it's going to continue along with the download of these megabytes which are shown on that computer screen. The moment you save it on your computer, it may be more or less MB. The download speed might go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your type of access to the web and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator servers. Today they're working super fast. The download is finished, then at this point it continues with the installation step. The setup will need more or less time based on the strength of your PC. The more efficient it really is, the faster the installation time and vice versa. If we merge the download and software setup step it can take a very long time, so show patience. It has already ended on my side. Now, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar which will advance to the right so when it has reached the finish, the emulator can be launched for the very first time. In reality, the emulator has been launched, here for the first time. So LD Store is instantly launched, that is a kind of Google Play. This isn't the smartest approach to install the video game, and so I tend not to recommend it, basically because quite possibly the LD Store installs an out-of-date version of the game. I'll explain to you tips on how to set up the game though using Google Play so I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we will have to accomplish is to navigate to the computer's desktop by clicking on this icon that I'm indicating in green. Before we continue, as you will notice, it made two icons here on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon will be the one we're interested in. When we desire to run Rise of Kingdoms on our PC, we twice click on this specific app icon and launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or anything like this. The reality is, it is an app icon that we might probably never work with. Let's conduct the next step, which is actually a must, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to, System Apps, we click on. And we will just click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. Right here we need to log on. At this moment once we are right here, we must accomplish this following step which is compulsory. So that we click on, Sign In. Now it announces, Checking Info. It could from time to time get blocked in, Checking Info, and it doesn't advance. If so, you may try to connect to your account after a few hours and it'll most probably be resolved. Now we shall insert our username and password. The email has to be a Gmail email address as well as its related password. 
For instance, you could use the same email you are using currently in your YouTube account. Therefore, I am going to type in my details and I will revisit as soon as I have done it. That's it. Info inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and offering us the twos. We can agree to all of them by simply clicking on, I agree. Next, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You could let it checked and it'll make a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it. You can make use of this feature if you desire. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play is presented by default and automatically. When the Google Play is not launched by default and you have no idea how to launch it yourself, I illustrate how to do so. First thing is to go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this icon designated in green. At this moment we navigate to the system apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Okay, I am right here within Google Play. What we are going to do now is browse here to, search for apps and games. And we are going to look for Rise of Kingdoms. Generally there we have it, we are going to go through the very first result. Here we access to the game app. Why don't we press here on the, install, option that I'm just showing now in green. And it will initiate the software installation. At this point it would download and install the Android game, it normally takes some time or perhaps it might well be very fast. This all is subject to on our own internet connection. It has actually ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this particular button that I'm highlighting in green, to be able to use Rise of Kingdoms for the first time. We are at present on the emulator desktop, and then we're about to just click on this new Rise of Kingdoms app icon which has been created. The game app is launched for the very first time. There we have it, I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the sound level of this emulator. It is right here, we have the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this manner we are not going to rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we could switch on the big screen, for which we have two choices. This is simply the very first one, we simply click on this software icon that I'm showing in green color. And the display screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. In case we would like to appreciate the app in full screen, we click this particular game icon. And we might at present be enjoying the game app in full screen mode. To quit the 100% screen mode, click the F11 key. And consequently we would definitely just end up being in normal display mode. Now I am ready to explain you the keys mapping which is really very appealing. That strategy we will certainly be in a position to make use of the game much more effortlessly. The first thing is to click this computer keyboard icon. And there you will have the ability to make the appropriate configurations. I am about to let the standard configuration, however if you plan to adjust it, you may very well achieve it with no problem. I take this moment to say that from time to time, when commencing the game a black screen occurs, if it is so and you discover the black display and the emulator doesn't initiate, I suggest a possible answer. We would click here, to the cogwheel. In the emulator preferences, in the advanced option we have got a number of image resolutions. That is the pixel quality that we have at the moment opted for automatically therefore we should select any of these other resolutions, for example this one down below. We select it and then click on save. It will ask us to reboot that emulator and as soon as rebooted, probably the emulator will start and this black display will vanish entirely. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. From time to time it occurs that the emulator is launched in the erroneous language, for instance, in Chinese language. And consequently to set it up in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. And right here throughout various other configurations, we just click on the, language, drop down. We could opt for the language we wish, Italian, Chinese, and so on. After the language is chosen, we should save, the emulator will restart, along with the video game, next time we launch it, will of course be in the selected language. At this moment, you can find another aspect that we need to take into account, and it is that we will get a message from Google Mail indicating that a brand new equipment has been connected to this Google account. It will likely ask us if we're the individuals who have connected that device. Indeed, we really should not get worried, because the emulator is acting as an Android device. And to identify which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. And we browse here to the, model, option. And there we learn that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this video tutorial. I hope you liked it, especially that everyone found it handy. If that is so, allow it a good like, subscribe, and any comments, concerns or ideas, leave them in the comment area down below.
You could even leave a comment on my Twitch channel. I do live streams on occasion. You get it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Check out any of those training videos that are showing up on the screen and see you in the following video game videos. Bye.